Hi everyone, I am Tony Lane Casserly. I am a co-founder of Cointelegraph and their former CEO. I am a partner at BitNation, a co-founder of Kids Compassion Charity, an organization that used originally Bitcoin to do disaster relief funding during the Ebola crisis and now builds homes and schools for orphans in Ebola to get an education while we create free market solutions for them to have jobs after they finish their program and Sierra Leone's one of their first national midwives programs. Uh, I am also someone who does a lot of work with activists in the Bitcoin and blockchain space for human rights. And I am the representative for blockchain technologies for the United Nations. I'll actually be doing an, a full-on introduction uh, to every head of state at the end of October uh, with my, my good friend, my dear friend, Radia Fana, who's the head of innovation at the United Nations. And I really have to say, being a part of the Bitcoin economy in Bali is really extraordinary. The climate here for a digital currency like this to thrive is really unlike any other place in the world. Bali is overwhelmed with some of the most naturally beautiful scenery you will ever experience in your life. Every moment is a sensory delight no matter who, where you are. And the very interesting thing is that their national currency, the rupiah, um, has been really, I feel, for what Bali has to provide, extremely undervalued. So the economy here is right for people existing in a Bitcoin type industry to come here and, and really prosper. And not only that, but the entrepreneurial climate in Bali, excuse me, I'll take this flower. Uh, the entrepreneurial climate in Bali is really amazing. You know, it's incredible because I've seen so many people here doing, you know, a million different jobs. But what's interesting is that it's really rare that I see a person here who works for an agency other than their own sense of self. And I think as well for any person who comes here, if you're already, you know, using Bitcoin, chances are that you are a fairly autonomous person. And so the cross points of cultural identification for what I would call the archetype of a digital currency user to be in paradise, uh, the correlation is really outstanding. And there are, yeah, it's, it's really nothing short of paradise here in every way, shape, and form. And I feel lucky to have been here to enjoy and some of the outstanding experiences that this amazing country has to offer. And I can only, you know, really I can only hope that Bali becomes the hub for digital currency that it's meant to be. And so, you know, seeing what's already existing now and what will happen in the future, can't wait to see where it's going to go.